Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. On another adventure, are we?
you're back. Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Not much of a go -hard. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. Now I can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Are you ready to breed your beast? I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them.
You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.
well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. There's so much we don't know about beasts. So much to learn. My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turn back. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. What type of beast is an Ockamy? It is a spectacular beast, a feathered, winged, serpent-like creature that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. Seems quite a challenge finding an Ockamy in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. 
he was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver okami eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid, and moments later, the beast flew right over my head, breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. my young friend. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But 
At the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. <gasps> that's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. This is... odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there! Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. 
Let's get a better lay of the land. You can feed a beast for the real. Hey, 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 for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. Repairer! Dragon Fighting Ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come back to our world thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. Sickens me to work alongside any of them. Don't know how Ramrock's stomach's being near Rookwood, foul beast. Not much longer now. Soon our necks will be out from under wizarding boots. Wizard kind will pay for what they've done.
Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Hello, Hamora. the egg. Ready. The elements of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count.
This way. In black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. It's time you learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will be useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the time. to identify, for now at least. Should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born, 
How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. <laughs>